I am Professor Travis O'Brien and I do research on what controls why weather patterns vary from year to year and how that will change over long periods of time. In the 11 months since I started at IU, I've been really excited to get to use IU's supercomputing systems to do research on coastal clouds, in particular a type of cloud called marine stratocumulus. Big Red 200 is a unique opportunity to do some really amazing work and really get high throughput, um, faster simulations, better simulations in order to better understand how the climate system works. Now, if you've ever visited California before, you've probably been in contact with these clouds. These are what generate the coastal fog that often blankets the otherwise sunny beaches that you are probably hoping to visit. Globally, these clouds are really important. They cover the large parts of the dark ocean surface with bright clouds that reflect or scatter sunlight back to space. More of these clouds means more sunlight reflected back to space and cooler temperatures globally. Fewer of these clouds would mean less sunlight reflected back to space, so more sunlight being absorbed and warmer temperatures globally. Locally, these clouds are really important too. They bring a lot of water when they come on shore during the otherwise really dry season. They help sustain uh, really unique coastal ecosystems like the iconic redwood forest ecosystems that otherwise would not be able to survive through these really dry summers. We know that these clouds exist because of a delicate balance among the atmosphere, the ocean, and the land. In the atmosphere, prevailing winds drive ocean currents, cool water coming from the north and cold water coming up from the deep ocean. Now these cold ocean temperatures allow, they cool the atmosphere and they allow clouds to form in the lower part of the atmosphere. The land, when it gets hot during the summer, the air rises, that draws in the marine air on land, and that rising air completes a circulation that pushes the cloud layer down so that it's close to the ground, and that's where the fog comes from. Now, how will all these interactions change in a warming climate? That's exactly what I'm doing research on. Now, I use numerical computer models of the atmosphere, the land, and the ocean to study how all of these interactions change from year to year and how they will change as climate changes. Mm -hmm. 